guys. So I went digging through my big bin of books for a story or two to read to you. And I came across a very special book. And it felt, um, or it's very fitting for the situation that we're in right now. So right now, we're at home, we're kind of stuck at home. You don't go to the stores, you don't get to see your friends, we're not going to school. Maybe you don't even get to see your grandmas and grandpas or your cousins. Um, so sometimes that can be very lonely and it's sad. And so this book is about a little boy and girl who are best of friends and they did everything together. And one of them moved and she moved very far away and they ended up missing each other a whole lot. Um, so it's kind of like we are now. We can't see our friends and we just miss them a ton. So I'm gonna read you a book called Half a World Away by Libby Gleason. So this little boy is, scooch up so you can see them. So this is Louie and this is Amy. Amy and Louie built towers as high as the sky and they dug holes deep enough to bury bears and they saw magical creatures in the clouds. So here they are. They are looking up at the clouds and looking for shapes and creatures. Do you guys ever look at the clouds and see different shapes? I do, it's pretty fun. And when Amy was in the sandbox and Louie was on the swing, she called to him across the yard with a special word her mother taught her. Cooey, Louie, and Louie always came to play. And when Louie was in the dress up corner and Amy was with the Play-Doh, he called to her across the room with the same special word. Cooey, Amy, and Amy always came to play. So if I were to take a guess, I'm thinking cooey might mean come, like come play with me. That's my guess. What do you think? So, and when they were at home, they would call to each other across the fence. Cooey, Louie, and cooey, Amy. And one of them would soon come climbing through the gap with secrets to share. But one day, Amy and her family moved a long, long way away. to the other side of the world. So if we look, it looks like they live somewhere that doesn't have a lot of buildings. The houses are kind of low. There's some trees. And then Amy moved to a big city. So we don't see any trees, we just see tall, tall buildings. And Louis stopped building towers, digging holes and staring at the clouds. He no longer called to anyone across the yard, the room or the fence. And he thought about Amy every day and every night. Probably the same way you think about your friends and family right now. We miss them. And it looks like he misses Amy. And in a place where Amy was, there was nowhere to dig holes or build towers in the clouds. They held only raindrops. She thought about Louie every day and every night. If I call Amy really loud, she'll hear me, won't she? Louie asked his mom. His mom shook her head. Sorry, Amy's too far away. And when you're awake in the day, she's asleep at night. If I call Amy really, really loud, she'll hear me, won't she? He asked his dad. His dad shook his head. Amy's half a world away, he said. And when she's awake in the day, you're asleep at night. If I call Amy with the loudest call anyone could ever, ever do, she'll hear me, won't she? He asked his grandma. Maybe, said his grandma. You can only try. So Louis spread his arms as wide as he could and he threw his head back and he shouted, Cooey, Amy. And you can see Louis way down here in his yard and yet his words are floating up into the sky and they're getting bigger and bigger. And his cry rang across the yard, across the street and past the edge of town. Louis fell back and stared up at the sky where clouds were making strange seahorses and wild, wild dragons. And if you look, the dragons and the seahorse that he saw at his home, they're floating across the ocean. So you can still see the different shapes. And then look what happened. They're still floating across the ocean and they found a big city. I wonder if that's where Amy lives. And across the ocean, in a city where tall buildings stretched to the sky, Amy woke up and came sleepily to breakfast. 
I had a lovely dream, she said. I dreamt about Louie and he called me. And if you can see in her window, she's seeing the same exact clouds and shapes that Louie saw half a world away. And so half a world away, Louie slept smiling in his dreams. So even though we can't be with our friends right now, if you get lonely or you're sad and you go outside and you see the clouds or the sun, or maybe it's in the evening and you see a moon, know that your friends and your family, they can go outside and they see the exact same sun, the same sky, and the same clouds, and the same moon. And even though you might feel lonely and sad, they can see those too. So maybe you can write letters to your friends or like the book, you can have sweet dreams about your friends. Um, but I just wanted to share my book. So I miss you all so much and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.